Hello, Tyson here again, and I'm going to walk you through your capture page wizard here today. What you want to do is click on capture page wizard, or you can click the link below this video to start creating a capture page. So as you know, you can build multiple capture pages with the system, as many capture pages as you desire. Now you may have a real estate business or an insurance business or an auto mobile business. I'm not sure exactly what it is that you're trying to sell or, or what you need leads for. But every business is unique and different, so it needs its own capture pages. So I'm going to walk you through using our simple capture page wizard to create your pages. So what I'm going to do first is, when you get here, what you want to do is you want to select a template. I'm going to go ahead and select this one. I kind of like this template because it allows you to have a video above a form to get your, your leads. Okay, So they watch a video and then the lead goes in the form. So I'm going to go ahead and click next once I select it. Then once I get here, what I'm going to do is I can choose a background image. This is the image that will take up the majority of the screen behind the form. Okay, You can do an image, you can do just a, a flat color, or you can even do a full on video. Now I'm going to be, for training purposes here, I'm going to show you how to build a capture page for, let's say, a realtor, someone who's doing some land sales. Okay, so for training purposes, I'm just going to go ahead and select a uh, a background image, and I'm just going to use one of the images that we already have in here. So I'm going to sell some beachfront property for my real estate business. So let's just go ahead and look through some of these pictures here, see if I have something that's kind of related to a nice beachfront. Uh, you know, that's a nice nice picture there. Now I can also browse my computer and upload an image as well if I do not like any of these images here. But I'm just going to go ahead and keep this. So this is going to be the majority of the background. Okay. Then I'm going to click next. And then when I get here, I'm going to choose what options, you know, that I want available for them to opt in to. So I'm going to request that, they're, that they put their name in, their email, and their phone number. That way I can get back with them. Um, I could even ask for the home address and state and whatnot. But I'm just going to keep it simple. Three forms for them. I'm going to go ahead and select next. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the button that they click on once they, you know, fill out their information. Okay. So right down here, what we have is we have a uh, button list already done for you, or you can upload again your own custom buttons. Okay. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and select, um, let's see, uh, yes, more info, show me more. I'm going to use the show me more. I think that'll work good for real estate because what I want to do is I want to do a video of some land and then and then, then let them know that they can fill out the form to see more land deals. Okay. So now right here, what I got to do is I got to choose my video that I want them to see above the form. So I'm going to go over here to YouTube and I'm just going to grab this link here for this, uh, this uh, video here. Let me see. I, like, I kind of like this video here that I found over on YouTube. Now, obviously, if I was really selling some land, I would want to put my video in there, you know, to the land that I'm trying to sell. I can do Vimeo or YouTube. So I'm going to put the link in there to my YouTube video and select next. And then from here, um, I'll just go ahead and put in a title. Um, I'll just call it land deal. You guys can put, you know, whatever it is here. This is for your reference so you can remember you know you know what page this is you can do pick you know keywords and whatnot if you're trying to rank for SEO um, but that's a whole nother training you guys will see back there so let's keep it simple let's go ahead and save that page now once that page has been saved you'll see that it's saved here in the editor but it's still not published so we can go ahead and click on the land deal page and you guys will see that this is the page right here that we just created okay and for whatever reason, my internet's going a little slow today, so it's showing up a little weird there at the beginning. But there's the overall result right there. See, so someone can watch this video of the property, fill out their information to get more info. Now, once they fill out the information, that lead is going to be sent to my inbox so that I can follow up with them. Fortunes in the follow-up, right, guys? Okay. So let's go ahead and go back in here. Then I'll, your next step is is to go to your capture page that you created, and click on the little gears here at the bottom because we got to make sure that we in, we publish it because the page is still not published. So I'm just going to call this one land deal, all one word, 
and you have to add .php because you're basically creating a, a file for this page. So what we need to do is you need to choose all one word and just add .php to the end and click on quick publish. Once you do that, the, the computer will start working and it will start uh, publishing it for you. And once it's completely loaded, what you'll want to do is you have a couple different options. Sorry guys, my internet's going a little slow today. But it's doing its thing, it's publishing it in real time here. So once that's done, what we can do is we can click on the click here, here. And when we click on the click here, we can set up some advanced um, options. We can choose, once the person opts in, we can choose you know where we want the redirect to go. So once they fill out their name or email, phone number, and click show me more, maybe you can direct them to your real estate page or business page or whatever it is that you might have. So the capture page is always something that you use before you send them to your primary business page. So you can set the redirect right here. Now you can also, let's say you're doing automotive and you have some automotive capture pages, you have some insurance capture pages, you have some real estate capture pages, and you want to organize the leads as they come in. So if you have a capture page, for instance, for automotive, you have one for insurance and one for real estate, you wouldn't want all the contacts to go to the same place because then your autoresponder or your messages that you send out in the future wouldn't be relevant to the correct people. So right here where it says contact group, you can select the drop down and you can choose the group that you want it to be put into. So I do have, well actually I don't have a real estate um, group, but I need to create a real estate group um, for this um, for this page. I'll show you guys how to do that in one of our other videos if you go to the autoresponder training. We have training on how to set that up. But what we will do right now is once this is all set up, you can click update settings. But what you want to do is you want to go over here to my saved pages. These are your published pages. So when you click on that, it'll redirect you over to this page. You'll see a list of all of your published pages. Now that they've been published, see there's land deal right there. And if I go in here, this is an actual page that will work. I could fill out this information right here. Um, you know, I'll just put whatever here. Just to kind of show you guys how it works. So this, I have it set to redirect to Google. So when they click the information here, um, it redirects them over to Google is the way that I have it set up. Um, so what you'll want to do is you'll want to go to this land, you'll want to click on your, your page now that's been published. You can edit it at any time. Click on the edit here. And when you guys go up here where it says basic settings, you guys will be able to select or manage your contact groups or you could set the redirect right here. So this is where you would set the redirect. So you can change the redirect at any time, okay? Make sure you select, save your changes. And if I go back, you'll see that the changes have been updated, but also you can go to manage contact groups. I don't know if you guys see that, manage contact groups. And you can select that and you can actually, oh, well, there we go. I have a, a contact group called real estate. But if you don't have your group set up for whatever it is that you're needing the, the leads to go into, you can set up a contact group here. Once you set up your contact groups, then you re return back to your published pages. For instance, this one we just did for land deals. Go back to the edit. And we can actually select. Okay, we can go right here to contact group. And now we can select real estate. So now when someone opts in, they'll be stored in the real estate category. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, view this page. Okay, so someone goes to this page. They fill out the form with their info. Okay, and they're going to say show me more. And when they do that, it's going to redirect them. You know, obviously I have it set up to Google right now, so I redirected them there. But when it redirects them, it'll send them an email to whatever email campaign that you have set up. But if we go over here to view your, your leads, you guys will see that uh, that if that real estate is selected in the drop down group. Okay, and there it is. That's the contact that we just threw in there. So all the uh, you know the opt-ins through the real estate group will show up here. Now, in some of our other trainings, we'll show you how to set up your autoresponder and whatnot. 
uh, messages, you can set up, set up a different autoresponder campaign per contact group. So once you set up your contact groups, you can actually go to autoresponder and set up your, your email campaigns per group. Now we'll, we'll talk about that in another video. Let's go back over to the capture page wizard. And I just want to show you guys some more things that you can do with this capture page. So let's stay on the, um, the theme of, of wanting to do something for, you know, real estate. Let's just go ahead and choose this one right here. Okay. This opt-in form that's right here, smack dab in the middle. And let's go ahead and go forward. And let's do a background video this time. Okay. So I'm going to go to background video and I'm going to go over to, uh, YouTube and I'm going to grab that same video that we used on the last editor and we're going to go ahead and throw it in here and what we're going to do is we're just going to throw it in there and we're going to go ahead and click next we're still going to ask for their name your email and their phone number click next we'll go through the button list and we'll go ahead and I'll do the show me more deal click next see how fast this is guys you can really uh, create one really quick here now what we can do is um, we can do uh, text uh, and we can just say something to the effect of uh, please fill out the form below if you would like to be contacted about this property. And you could change all the colors and spend a little bit more time on making this look nice. but. I'll just do it really quick for you guys and, and I'll click next for training purposes. Um, just go ahead and fill out these fields just like we did before. So this time guys I just kind of changed up just showing you different options that you can do with this capture page editor to make pages look fun. So look here's the new page that we just created. It's not published yet okay but I'm gonna go ahead and click here to show it to you guys. As you can see look at that. So now you got a video behind the form, and then the form up here, we could have changed the text up here, and it just says, please fill out the form if you're interested in this property. So that's a pretty cool form. <laughs> you could do this for, for any product, guys. Just think of different products and videos that you can put behind it. And the same thing again, we wanna make sure we go over here to the gears, and because this isn't published yet, uh, we need to come up with a name for it, and then we need to do the .php thingy, and quick publish. And then once we do our quick publish, the computer will start working for us. It will start publishing that page. And then once that page is uh, published, okay, it's going, it's going. We'll go ahead and uh, it's going to give us a link down here so we can do some advanced settings on the redirect. And I'll also add this one to the category of real estate. So I'll go ahead and click here. And... I want this one, I'll just keep it going to Google, but if I had a real estate business, I would put it in that spot. I can update the settings, or at this time, I can go back over here to my pages, my save pages. And when you go back to your save pages again, you'll see that it's now here, see? And now we can edit that uh, content. Make sure that we set it up in the right contact groups again. Put it back into real estate. Make sure we have the appropriate redirect wherever we want them to go after they fill out the information. If we just did one for auto or something else, we would be changing the group at this time, but we won't. But that page is now completed, guys. So hopefully, you guys, this, this video was helpful to you on using the um, Capture Page Wizard. Uh, next, we're going to teach on some of the other tools like the Sales Page Wizard and whatnot throughout the tool suite. So hopefully, these videos are helping you guys. We will see you on the next video. Thanks for stopping by. Bye-bye.